Hey guys, Zach here. Let's talk Freddy vs. Jason and why it is disappointing. In the summer of 2003, eight-year-old Zach was more excited for Freddy vs. Jason than anything. Just the thought of Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger being in the same movie and seeing them fight was enough hype for me. When I saw it in theaters, I loved it, but as I've gotten older and rewatched it numerous times, I still enjoy it but recognize its many faults and why overall it's a disappointing movie. So today, we're gonna talk Freddy vs. Jason and why it's disappointing. Not my arm. The first problem I have isn't with the movie itself, but rather casting decisions. Every horror fan wanted to see Robert England's Freddy take on Kane Hodder's Jason, but instead, we got Ken Kersinger instead of Kane Hodder as Jason. No offense to him, but his take on Jason isn't nearly as iconic as Kane Hodder's. So now with that out of the way, let's talk about the actual problems in the movie. A major issue I have with this film is that it kind of seems like Freddy gets shafted. He only gets one kill in the entire film, and Jason gets the rest. Also... He is used more as an exposition dump and a plot device in order to get the fight with Jason in the final act. Like in the beginning of the movie, he's basically a narrator that is setting up the story. And I think there are better ways to go about setting up the story than to just have Freddy narrate in the beginning. There's a scene later in the movie where he tries to kill Blake and he fails. And he looks at the camera and says that he's not strong enough yet but that he will be soon enough. And it's kind of like, yeah, we just saw that you couldn't kill him. You don't need to tell us that you couldn't kill him after you've already shown that you can't kill him. It's things like that that make Freddy seem more like an exposition character than an actual character in this movie. Not strong enough yet. Well, I will be soon enough. And in the end, it's not even Jason that defeats Freddy. It's the final girl, Lori. And to me, Jason should have dealt the final blow to Freddy since the movie is called Freddy vs. Jason. I do like that they build up Freddy to being the real villain in the movie and that the characters actually do fear Freddy and want to beat him and even try to root for Jason to beat Freddy because Freddy's such a bad character. But outside of that, I just think he's underwhelming in this film. I do think Robert England does a great job playing Freddy as usual, and unfortunately, it would be his last time playing the role in a film. With that in mind, I wish he could have had better material to work with, and overall, I just think Freddy should have gotten more love in this movie. Now, let's talk Jason. The main problem with Jason is that they make him a sympathetic character, even though he's a psycho who's killed hundreds of people. Even the main characters side with Jason and don't even kill him like they do Freddy, even though Jason kills way more of their friends than Freddy does. It's like they didn't see Jason as a threat and were just rooting for him to beat Freddy when they shouldn't have been rooting for either side since they're both dangerous killers that have killed many of their friends. I will say that Jason does get to be more of himself in this film, basically just a stock and slash killer. And... He has the best kill in the movie when he folds Trey up in the bed after stabbing him a bunch of times. It's a really great kill in this movie. I think Jason is handled better than Freddy in this movie, but overall, he still has his fair share of problems. As far as human characters in this movie, I don't find any of them particularly memorable. This is a problem because the movie focuses on them way more than Freddy vs. Jason action that is promised in the title of the movie, which is Freddy vs. Jason. Even the final girl, Lori, isn't really that great of a final girl. In the end, yes, she does defeat Freddy, but she's not really a standout character compared to the other characters in the movie. Kia is a character that's kind of meant 
to be comic relief, but honestly, I find her more annoying than anything else, and her comedy doesn't really land for me. You're not even scary. You're not even scary. And I have to mention the weird stoner character that looks like Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Such a weird choice to put this character in the movie. And the scene where he's smoking with the worm Freddy creature is a really strange, bizarre scene. And honestly, I don't even think it needs to be in the film. And in the final act, when the action between the two slashers finally happens, the main characters get in the way and are the ones that end the showdown. Which, as I've stated, if none of the characters are that impressive or memorable, then why are they ending the showdown when it's supposed to be Freddy versus Jason? So, when it comes down to it, there really wasn't a fair winner between Freddy and Jason. So I personally think we should have a rematch without other characters getting involved, but that's probably not going to happen. Speaking of the final showdown with the two horror icons, I think the action between Freddy and Jason is great, and it's my favorite part of the movie, but the problem is it doesn't last long enough. I think they use the setting around them really well, such as Jason ramming Freddy through the set of windows in the shack, or Freddy shooting the torpedoes at Jason that makes Jason go flying. <laughs> Also, the scene on the docks where they are both just stabbing each other is brutal and it's a violent scene, which is what I want to see when I see Freddy and Jason fight. And unfortunately, the other characters interrupt it even though it's a great scene and it should be going on longer, but the main characters come in and interrupt it, which takes me out of it a little bit. Overall, I think the Freddy vs. Jason scenes in the film are great, but for a movie called Freddy vs. Jason, there just isn't enough of them fighting. Overall, the problem with Freddy vs. Jason is that neither characters were portrayed in their best forms, and the promised showdown between the two was interrupted and ended by the main characters who weren't that interesting. I still think the movie is fun and is definitely watchable, but considering the hype surrounding it, Freddy vs. Jason is ultimately a disappointment. So tell me what you guys think of Freddy vs. Jason, whether you loved it, whether you hated it, or somewhere in between. And with that, Zach has spoken.